SMT Nation, we back. Man, I got a big update for you guys here. Uh, this one is probably going to be something that I think is substantial enough to where it might actually give AT&T an edge when it comes to 5G networking. All right, now, I didn't want to necessarily report something falsely without having you know really good confidence in it, but now that I've been able to corroborate the situation with multiple sources internally at the Death Star, it, it, it's all but confirmed, and I think we're going to be seeing it very soon. Like, I'm talking 2023. We are going to be seeing, <laughs> this sounds crazy, 50 gig backhaul coming to AT&T cell tower sites. All right, so for those of you that, that know cellular networking, you know that a cell site has to have fiber transport, right? The wireless signal that's that's, you know, projected and broadcasted from a cell tower can only be as fast as the fiber that it has, the fiber circuit it's connected to. So say, take, for example, most cell sites today. They either currently are at one gig, you know, or or maybe 10 gig, depending on how much capacity is needed at the site. Typically, cell sites that are in well-developed cities, you know, you can get access to something like a 10 gig circuit. But in some places, one gig may be all that's available or even less. And you know, they're going to be probably upgrading a lot of these sites over the next year or two. You know, you're going to be seeing one gig sites going to 10 gig because of the need to add more spectrum and push more antenna bandwidth, right? So they're going to be upgrading those sites in that way. But if if this is true and we start to see this, 2023 may be the year we start to see some of these urban sites, right? These city core sites seeing 50 gig backhaul. And from what I'm hearing, it is 100% centered around the fact that the C-band build is about to be substantial, right? It is 100% connected to the widening channels of N77. So the the 3.45, right, the DOD, the 3.7 gigahertz, the, the C-band, you, today you've got 40 megahertz of each of those, but additional C-band or 3700, that's, that's coming too. And then it sounds to me like a millimeter wave add-on, you know, putting antennas you know, up on these sites. I mean, why else would you need a 50 gig site? You know, why would you need 50 gig backhaul to a tower site? Obviously it's expensive, it's pricey, but the advantage that AT&T has is the fact that they are the fiber owner and operator. Their goal is to to run f- their own native fiber to 75% of their tower grid across the country. Now they are a major fiber player. They are the number one fiber company in the country, right? No national provider has the amount of fiber laid as they do, right? They are the king of fiber. And they have told us time and time again, they are a internet connectivity company focusing on wireline. They just happen to sell wireless, but it's going to feed into their 5G business. Here's an actual, you know, blog post here from the AT&T website about their fiber expansion. We're entering a new era with unprecedented demands. Meeting them starts now with our industry-leading commitment to fiber. Far-reaching fiber grid won't just deliver multi-gig internet right into American homes and businesses. It will also integrate seamlessly with 5G. Overall, it will spark innovation, boost productivity, and expand access to jobs, education, and healthcare. Realizing these benefits will come from abundant bandwidth through abundant fiber, for which we're building the game-changing infrastructure right now they're focused absolutely completely on fiber and it's going to feed into their 5g business so aggregating those two parts of the c-band more additional bandwidth coming in future auctions millimeter wave seems all but a slam dunk at this point right why else would you put a 50 gig circuit to a tower site now i'm not saying they're doing this right now i have no way to confirm this i have no way to speculate about this it would make no sense for me to do so. But when I'm hearing from multiple sources at AT&T that are telling me 2023 it's going to happen, I guess I got to take them for their word. So let's let's call this unofficial. <laughs> you know, AT&T is going to be putting 50 gig fiber to tower sites in 2023. I mean, I, I can't wait to see it. Let's just put it that way. Verizon isn't doing this, and they're a fiber owner and operator. You know T-Mobile isn't doing this, <laughs> at least not on, on any type of scale. That is a very expensive investment for them. And again, I've said that before. That is T-Mobile's weakness, the fact that they do not own any fiber across the entire footprint of the country. 
right? They're gonna have to pay for that on lease, right? And that's not cheap. AT and T, the owner, Verizon, the owner, right? To their advantage to do so. I'll give you guys more updates when I get something more concrete. In fact, I'll be asking probably sometime in the near future to those same internals, you know, when this thing does happen, when I can confirm that it is live and it's going on, you know, that then I can confirm something more solid. Uh, but I have confidence because the people telling me this, they're betting a thousand, right? So I, I have to take their word for it. I'm cautiously optimistic, you know, of, of the success of this. I feel confident reporting this as happening in 2023. So unofficial, official news from the SMT. <laughs> I'm excited, guys. It's very exciting. And, you know, we'll take it at face value. at and is looking to do this. I think that's for sure. It's definitely on the radar. We'll see what happens, and we'll see when it happens. What do you guys think about all this? You are the voice of the people of the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, share, and subscribe for more. Turn on that bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Links are in the description for all things going on with the channel. Big shout-out to the channel members, as well as my Patreon supporters. Y'all are the GOATs. Thank you so much for supporting. And, um... I'll leave you with words of positivity. Thank you guys so much again for watching. But every new day is an opportunity to be great. Go out there and be great. See you guys on the next one. Peace.